Hi, this is Joe again with another Pro Rip tip. Oftentimes we get asked, how can we distress an image? And distressing is most often used when we want to add negative space to a design and we don't want the predictable lines or holes or don't have the ability to do variable rasterization. So distressing that image is the next logical choice. Okay, our job is loaded, it is selected. We wanna head over to jobs and then uh, effects and then distressed. Okay, so this is sort of the default window that comes up. You do wanna make sure of a few uh, settings before you proceed under presets. You can use any one of these. I'm using weather worn at the moment. Here's what you need to do. Slide image desaturation over to the right tint color to the left, preset mask to the left, generate texture to the right. This highlight color, choose black. Okay, that's the setting for this page. Then head over to generated texture. It's really important here that you set this one to black. It's this muddy brown right now. And you want to bring that texture contrast all the way up. Okay, those are the basic settings. Now you can tweak it a bit and you can see I can back out a little bit if you wanna see your whole image. Um, but here you can adjust the horizontal or the vertical streaks. And we talk a lot about when we rasterize, you want the rasterization lines or holes to follow the weave of the shirt. So if this, this is going on a black shirt, um, the weave of the shirt, shirt is north-south. So you can increase your, um, sorry, your vertical streaks a little bit. I'll give it a little bit more vertical streaks. That looks about right. Okay, just click okay. Now this part does take a few minutes. Okay, the image is back and loaded. You can see the distressed pattern all over. And the last step is just to head over to jobs and production plugins and knock me black out. And again, this is going on a black shirt. We'll leave everything at the defaults. Click OK. And when this comes back, all those black elements uh, will be removed and that will create the distress pattern and the negative um, space that we are looking for. So there's your final image. Of course, it doesn't look great here, but when you get it on a shirt, it's gonna look great. Okay, that's it for today, thanks.